And now to another Catholic youth endeavor. The Steubenville East Conference is just a few short months away with the weekend long conference again being held at the Mass Mutual Center in Springfield this year. Many teams from parishes from across the Diocese of Springfield are set to attend and as Carolee McGrath reports, Westfield parishes will be showing up in force. Every Tuesday, St. Mary's High School students in Westfield gather for Mass. Prayer is part of everything the Saints do. But ever since Christina Mancino attended the Steubenville East Conference last July, prayer and the Mass have taken on an even deeper meaning. It's like I always acknowledge his presence, but it's a matter of actually like feeling him there and like adoration specifically was just like, I, I started crying when we were doing adoration because I just like, it was like, it felt surreal. Christina, a sophomore, was one of the more than 25 teens from St. Mary's who attended Steubenville East last summer at the Mass Mutual Center. This year, she can't wait to go back. Like, I've always been involved in my faith, but it's not as active as I would have liked to be, like, looking back. But now, like, after Steubenville specifically, it's just making me want to do more and wanting me to do, like, everything I can to become closer with God, really. The conference will once again be held in Springfield July 21st through the 23rd. The theme this year is Refuge, based on Matthew 11:28. Come to me, all who are labored, and I will give you rest. The weekend includes mass, adoration, inspiring talks, reconciliation, and praise and worship music. Emmy Collins is also a sophomore. She agrees that Saturday night's adoration in the conference is the highlight. As the priest is walking around with the monstrance, there's like no doubt in the room because everyone is, everyone's like either crying or they're praying and like you can, you can tell that they know Jesus is walking towards them and holding his hand out for them. Sophomore Lucas Morganelli is also going back this year. I loved uh, after a lot of the talks and stuff, we'd go play basketball and there were uh, actually a few priests that played with us and it was, yeah, it was a lot of fun. The activities were great. Bishop Byrne will be back this year. Last year, he took part in a game show and celebrated Mass. And of course, Zelly was there too. Rob LePage is the Dean of Student Life and a theology teacher at St. Mary's. Prayer is a normal part of our day. It's a normal part of our week. Community is a normal part of our um, experience here. Going to something like Steubenville, you realize you can have a bigger community, a wider community, more opportunities for prayer that other teenagers um, are praying and they're thirsting for community and opportunities to grow in their relationship with God and with others. The Westfield group will be even bigger this year with all of the parishes joining together as one group. Bring in an army. Matt Collins is the principal of St. Mary's High School. There was a larger group last year um, out of the Franklin County, but they had a, and maybe that's, maybe that's the competition piece. The Franklin County group was quite big uh, or quite large. Um, so I think this year um, with us putting all of us together, you know, and we're, we're, I think we'll throw out the challenge out there is get your youth out there and get them together and, and get, them, get them to this conference. In a few weeks, the Office of Youth Ministry will be holding a youth rally called Joy Has a Name as a sort of pregame or hype event for Steubenville. Comedian and beatboxer Paul J. Kim will be the featured speaker. Joy Has a Name will be held at Pope Francis Prep in Springfield. Paul J. Kim has been a regular speaker on the Steubenville Conference Circuit through the years. The youth rally is also free. Uh, we really model a lot of it after Steubenville East. It will be very similar to Steubenville East the, the evening, um, also with a lot of new kind of creative uh, angles to it. Um, so if, we're really encouraging everyone who comes to, to Joy Has a Name because it's completely free. There's no reason to not come to Joy Has a Name. It's completely free. There's free food, there's free games, prizes, awesome speaker, Paul J. Kim, who's a beatboxer and comedian. But we hope it will kind of give people a first experience of what to expect at Steubenville. More than a thousand teens attended Steubenville last year. The hope is that number will grow, exposing more teens to the power of Christ. With Steubenville, they create this environment, this like beautiful environment where people feel engaged, they feel excited, there's lots of activities and uh, big lights and, and bands playing and uh, engaging speakers. But beyond all that, there's also this encounter. So they're, they're creating this experience and it all kind of hits with the final Eucharistic procession. And I think at that moment, it's when people realize, wow, this is real. To sign up, go to stubeeast.org. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath. And there still is time for parishes to register their youth groups. We have a link with all of the information at iobserve.org.